Joe Biden releases a statement marking the fourth anniversary of the Pulse nightclub shooting in Florida. But now he faces backlash for what he omitted from that statement. Here's One America's Bobby Dupree. Many on Capitol Hill pay tribute this week to the victims of the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando, Florida, including Democrat presidential candidate Joe Biden. But the former VP is now coming under fire for failing to mention the suspect's true motive. Back in June 2016, 29-year-old Omar Mateen committed an attack which at the time was the worst mass shooting in American history. Oh, oh my God, they're all shooting back and forth. Mateen had expressed his allegiance to ISIS while speaking to a 911 operator and police negotiator during the massacre. I want to let you know I'm in Orlando and I did the shooting. What's your name? I pledge of allegiance to Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi of the Islamic State. Following a three-hour standoff, Mateen was killed in a shootout with almost a dozen police officers after fatally shooting 49 people inside the nightclub. The Islamic State's news agency has just uh, issued a statement that says that they are responsible. On Friday, Biden took to social media, obscuring the incident's connection to ISIS. He argued the need for gun control while speaking out against hate crimes, but Biden also appeared to have used the tragedy to slam Republican lawmakers, suggesting their, quote, inaction was the cause of tragedies like the Pulse nightclub shooting. He has yet to comment on the backlash. Meanwhile, Republican Governor Ron DeSantis ordered flags to fly at half-staff Friday as a mark of respect for the victims. Bobby Dupree, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.